Welcome to Snowy Cake. This week we're making a celebration of chocolate cake by melting white chocolate chips and pouring them in wide interlocking circles. This cake is for an older man, so we don't want small circles because they would look like lace. See that blob in the upper right corner? The chocolate was too cool the first time I tried to pour it. It has to be very hot. This chocolate fudge cake will have three layers. Use the frosting to glue it together and to level each layer as you go. So no matter how good or bad you're slicing, it will be level. Apply a generous crumb coat on these tall cakes because it adds to their stability. Let it dry at least 20 minutes in the fridge. Then apply the next coat like a giant marshmallow. Don't worry about putting too much frosting on because you'll take some off when you're scraping it smooth. I'm slowing down the footage here because I want you to notice the lip I'm creating at the top. This is very important. You need this lip on borderless cakes so that you can achieve a 90 degree top edge. Do you see the shadow at the top? That's where the lip is. Then we're gonna smooth that off. Great. Now splash chocolate on the top in any pattern because we're going to cover most of it with chocolate rosettes. Apply a scroll border while that chocolate cools. Then pipe the rosettes. We want them to be tall because they're the glue for our chocolate sculpture. Off screen, I'm using the edge of the table to break the chocolate in similar sized pieces. My painting teacher, Wanda Sanders, teaches us similar but not the same as a fundamental principle of art. Look for evidence of this principle in all the art in your life, the art, design, and marketing materials. You'll start to see evidence of it everywhere. Check each angle to make sure that it's similar but not the same. That way it has good interest. See you next time.